One of the biggest factors when measuring the prestige of a university is its accreditation. That's where an outside party determines if educational programs at the university meet the standard. Yeah, as Congressman Bill Johnson is set to take YSU's highest office next week, stakeholders both past and present are concerned that YSU could fall below the bar. Or could they? In our watchdog report, Corey McRae found out that while the actions of the trustees may come into question, it may not be enough to sink its accreditation. Corey. Derek Madison, the uh, Higher Learning Commission is the third party that in essence measures that prestige. And I spoke with the former vice provost uh, here at YSU who is also specialized in that accreditation process. She says while she doesn't anticipate huge fallout from this, she hopes it's a learning experience for this board. Think of accreditation as the standard for a university and think of the Higher Learning Commission as the judge of whether an institution meets it. For decades, Youngstown State has met in exceeded the proverbial bar and has the HLC stamp of approval through 2027. However, in light of the controversial process used to hire former Congressman Bill Johnson, one former vice provost says the school's reputation could have taken a hit. The expectation from the Higher Learning Commission of shared governance and a certain level of integrity in board um, actions. And I think those two things could really be questioned. Those two things, shared governance and integrity, fall under two of the five criteria that a university must meet to qualify for accreditation. While Dr. Elias doesn't believe the school is in imminent danger of losing accreditation, she does believe that the first step in solving this problem is recognizing there is one. I think the board has to acknowledge its error. Uh, I don't mean so much the choice that they made, but how they made it. The Higher Learning Commission usually gets involved when someone files a complaint or during a review process, which is all the reason why maintaining a good standing is paramount. Without being accredited, other universities would not accept trans transfer credits from students. They would not recognize their degrees in order to apply to graduate schools. In addition to employers not accepting their degrees and not being eligible for many types of financial aid, I reached out to the Higher Learning Commission, which said in part an institution would have to be evaluated by HLC before a decision could be made on whether an institution is at risk of being out of compliance with accreditation requirements. Earlier this week, the interim provost, Dr. Jennifer Pintar, issued a statement responding to the university's accreditation being in jeopardy, saying those claims are a blatant attempt to tarnish YSU's reputation. With more local news, I'm Corey McRae.